They forced us to enter their sanitary facilities at their college hostels. It is clear that things are not right here. Students at the Zambia Institute of Business and Industrial Practice Zipsip in Kito on the Copper Belt are not happy with the deplorable state of their sanitary facilities. Most of the toilets are broken while the shower rooms are also in a bad state. The students have also abandoned this hostel because infrastructure is run down. No wonder they are asking Higher Education Minister Professor Nkanduluo to intervene. We as uh, student union, we have tried our level best to engage management in as far as this, uh, resol resolving these issues are concerned. The problems here at Zipsa, infrastructural problems, we have a lot of water problems. Uh, all these problems are pointing to management, uh, as you can see. Management has failed. I've been here at this school for three years. We've tried to air out all these grievances through different student unions. But this is not all. Lecturers here have gone for months without pay. They have now abandoned class to demand for their delayed salaries. The principal, who is the chief executive officer, uh, paid himself gratuity um, prior to other members who had uh, come earlier. Although it was due, but uh, in uh, irregularity, he's supposed to will follow the queue that those came earlier should do, got, get their money. Now he paid himself, which is contrary to the Public Financial Management Act. Binwa Mpundu is Kito District Commissioner. I want to put it on record that uh, I have had a discussion with the ministry, you know, uh, through Director Simumba, who has assured me that uh, the ministry is going to, you know, find, you know, a little support for the institutions just to make sure that they survive over these turbulences they're going through. So my appeal to the student is to become. Efforts to get a comment from college principal Frederick Lumbwe proved futile as his mobile remained unanswered. Mshota Mpundu, ZNBC News, in Kitwe.